Dustin, no shades. Welcome back to another episode of Appointments Learning Sauce. I'm your host, Glass Across You. Please introduce yourself, guys. AP, African Prince. And I'm Angie. Hi, everyone. Mercedes. Hey. <laughs> I was on the wrong page of the thing there. Uh, how do you like to be communicated with in a relationship? Start us off, Paul. Very clearly. Oh. Oh, uh, what do you mean, like? Like in a relationship, how would all right? Let's I guess mainly focus on like when issues arise. How would you like for that message to be delivered? Speak to me. Plain and simple. You want to, you want us to get back to you? Period. Oh wait, yeah, oh y'all, oh y'all are answering. Like just okay. talk to me. Yeah, just but, talk to me. What's the how? big deal? What do you mean how? Like how how would you face prefer... to face? Tone. How how would you like the tone to be? You said what? Nice. I said be nice, be sweet. I want you to be sweet. I want my guy to be sweet to me at all times. No, you don't. So, yeah, I do. Okay, I digress. Um, uh, what about what about you, Paul? Like, like I'm uh, like talk to me like a friend, I guess. Well, maybe not, because some friends are a little mean. But like, I don't know. Just don't come at me on some yo. Look, we gotta talk. Like, just I don't know. Like she said, nice. Just. I mean, just, I guess, I don't want to say cordial, but like, just, we're a couple, we're, we're, we're a team, we're, we're partners, yeah. just, you know, sit down, talk to me, like, if you can't really get it out, it's like, hey, babe, when you have a second, or like, you know, a night before bedtime, like, just, hey, like, there's something I want to mention, I don't really know how to mention it, like, I, I just, you know, I, I wouldn't want you to be aggressive with me, I wouldn't want you to scream at me either. If it's something I didn't know about, or something I offended, I triggered, or I don't know, just talk to me. I think it was like as simple as Mercedes said it earlier. Like she said, just speak to me. <laughs> Period. Like just, just say something. Interesting. What about you, Paul? I'll say, um, I'll say with respect, uh, regardless of whatever the situation. Is definitely with respect. You respect me, I respect you. And uh, I'll just make sure it's a uh, open and uh, comfortable dialogue. And um, if things do arise, you know, I'll, I'll definitely like to deal with it real swiftly rather than wait on it. Um, Cause that's how things begin to build and grow. So I'd rather deal with it right away. But uh, I think mostly respect, um, uh, I, I don't I never think it's necessary for things to get out of hand like for example like you, you mentioned tone um, as long as the tone is there's no yelling there's no screaming there's no uh, nothing physical like everything's to be fine but um, I think the number one thing in, in um, conversation in a relationship is, is the respect as long as the respect there everything should be fine so would you say that God I was gonna say the question was also um kind of vague because it's like communicating because like after a, a, an argument like when I offend you when you offend me, um. I left that open like to how... interpretation. I wanted to see. Got it. Mm. So would you say that you've always effectively communicated with your partners in the past, Paul? No, I haven't. Why? Why didn't you? In those moments. Uh, in those moments, I probably didn't feel like it. I don't. Uh, I didn't really care to. So I didn't. I didn't care. So. <laughs> okay. What about you, Mercedes? Have you always officially Absolutely communicated with not. your partner? No. And, and, and why is that? Because I was afraid of showing feelings. Hmm. So I would just. I'll find a way to try and not have to communicate. Or I would just ignore the whole situation. What about you, Angie? Can you say the question again? Nice. I said, <laughs> have you always effectively communicated with your partners in the past? Yeah, no, I have not at all. Why is that? 
I would say, um, I think like on a deeper level, like trauma, we don't, we don't really talk in my household. Like we don't, and I was always like told I was too emotional or too sensitive. And I would feel a lot of ways about a lot of things. So it was just like, and then I'm also like the youngest in my house and the only female. So it was just like, mm. you know, holding things in a lot. And um, when things would happen in my relationship, it was just like, I'll get upset, but I'll just hold it all in. So Got you. how would you say would be so, uh, a good way for you to improve upon communicating next time around? Well, wait a minute. What about you? I'm the host here. <laughs> you, don't, you don't talk? Wow. Okay. Last time I invite somebody from the Bronx in this podcast. Um, it's all good with me. <laughs> <laughs> have I? No, I haven't. Okay. And why is what? that? <laughs> Whose side are you on? Uh, <laughs> like, like you said, I just, I didn't really care to. I just, I didn't think it was something worth talking about at that time. So I was like, you know, I kind of disregard people's feelings. So that was kind of one of those moments. Mm -hmm. I just, didn't, I just didn't really care. Like, just get over it. Stop crying. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but you're talking about her. You're not talking about yourself. So there was nothing that you was ever bothered by that you needed to say something about and you didn't? Like, maybe she hurt your feelings mm. or she made you feel a way about something? Um, I'm pretty laid back, guys, so not too much bothers me, but I guess in the instances that it did, uh, I probably just didn't think it was a big deal. I probably should have mentioned something, but again, like mm -hmm. so, so little bothers me. So I don't know, but yeah, I guess I could have spoken more about certain things, but I didn't, I probably didn't think it was a big deal. So I didn't care to mention it. Mm -hmm. Is, is that all or yeah okay questions <laughs> so nice so how would you say for you to improve on how, how would you be able to improve on your communication moving forward in your next relationship um for me i'll just make sure to voice to voice things more um uh, My fine. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> had a call. Um, I would definitely uh, voice things more. Um, instead of like you know being quiet, quiet about it, or just like letting it, uh, letting it go. I just voice my opinion more on whatever the thing is, and um, I have to keep their feelings in mind, also, and be considerate of how they feel too. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Directing the message. Facts. Like, same, bro. Same. Like, I don't be hearing. How about you, Mercedes? What was the question again? Nice. So I said, <laughs> clearly, I don't know. I said, how, do you, how, do you how would you communicate now? No, no. Uh, what uh, are some ways that you can you improve doing? upon your communication moving forward in, in your next, your future endeavors? Okay. So actually, um, in my last relationship, which was a little over a year and a half ago, he was my practice. And with him, I learned how to try and communicate without getting too emotional, without crying, without trying to, you know, make, cause I have, I have a really bad habit of whenever I communicated in the past, I would try and hurt the person's feelings so with him i just learned uh, <laughs> so that's not funny that was that was really bad of me. <laughs> nah, all, nah. Uh, <laughs> honestly that's just how women from new york show love for real <laughs> <laughs> no so with him i had to learn to communicate if something was bothering me if we needed to talk about something because you know closed mouth don't get fed so, so what i'm hearing you say is like um like part of the way that you practice was by kind of reflecting that bothered me. Huh? And it's like, it sounds like you, like this time, like you started reflecting, taking accountability and, mm -hmm. and saying something, like being nice yep. about it. He was my practice. So, so wait, I'm not good at it still. I'm not perfect, but. 
when, know, when you say you he's your practice, somewhere. when you say he's your practice, did you purposely go into that relationship as kind of a stepping stone for future ones? Or did you kind of just... I went into the relationship thinking that, okay, this is the man that I'm going to marry and I want to try and okay. do right by the relationship. I don't want to hold anything back. I don't want to have to always be closed up. I don't want to have to hold back my tongue. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that's that's why I started. And, and clearly I'm single now. So that didn't work out, but at least I have the mm-hmm. practice. So with my next relationship, and even with people in general, like I just, if something is bothering me, I'm going to say something. For gotcha. for me, it's not. It has nothing to do with you. It's for me. Gotcha. So, what about yeah. you, Angie? How would you improve? Um. I mean, I, I have already been practicing, and um, like the way that I've, I feel like I have improved is the way that I kind of mentioned with Mercedes just a few seconds ago is ref, um reflecting taking accountability, like acknowledging what I did wrong or how I could have made it better or how I, like, let's say something happened and it's like, okay, like I see where I went wrong. However, one of the things that you did that bothered me was X, Y, and Z. So, um, like, you know, can we talk about it? Or, you know, like. Got you. Okay. Yeah. So who would you say was to blame for the, the lack of communication or the or the bad communication in the past culture <laughs> excuse me i said culture you said who is to blame and i would just say like culture for, for, is to blame. for you for you for you in your relationship culture was to blame oh who was to blame i mean in my relationship where communication was a huge problem, I think we both were. The guy I was dating was older at the time, so um, he didn't know how to speak. Like, he wouldn't speak at all. Mm-hmm. You know, it was just a very superficial relationship, kind of. So the same way I wouldn't say anything, he wouldn't say anything. I think we both were, in a sense. But, Got you. Um, What about you, Paul? Nothing. Uh, just like her, I would say both. I think it's an equal equal partnership, in my opinion. Um, I think it takes it uh, takes two to make a thing go right, but I think it also takes two to make a thing go wrong. You know what I'm saying? So, I would say on both sides. Um, uh, yeah, I would say on both sides. Nice, uh, Mercedes. Yeah. Same. Same. Only because you know. It also depends on how the other person takes it. So if I'm communicating something to you and you kind of like don't care or you're not really listening to me, I'm not going to want to communicate anymore. Right. That, you know that, what I mean? that reminds me, like I, I seen a, um, a meme the other day and it, it's circled plenty of times, but something about um, I thought communication was important and then I found out that comprehension is. Mm-hmm. but it's like they kind of you know Go hand in hand. Um, yeah on um, both of what you guys are saying like Prince said it mm. takes two. Mercedes saying um you know like having the other per- making sure that the other person is willing and wanting to understand you mm-hmm. so you know like you can communicate all day and talk about your feelings and what you want and set boundaries and be aware of yourself and do all the right things but if the other person is not willing to sit there and at least try to comprehend it's like what are you doing it for wasting your time it's not gonna go anywhere so. what do you think is the biggest lesson you learned from your communication and past relationships the what the biggest lesson you've learned okay biggest lesson mercedes said it earlier for me a closed mouth don't get fed yeah that was my biggest lesson. If you don't say nothing, like they, they, if you don't set a boundary, it's just gonna keep happening. If you don't say that that's what you want, you're never gonna get it. So, I'd say is um, uh, comprehension, understanding. Some people really don't seem to 
understand or grasp things. <laughs> Not for real. And um, it's usually men, too, by the way. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm talking uh, strictly about women here. I'm talking stuff about women. That's take that back, class. I don't want to. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't want to start, but that was meant towards all women. Um, but um, <laughs> <laughs> like understanding just simple things and simple tasks is uh, very remedial for you guys. And um, the lack of, of accountability as well. It's always the blame game. It's always what you did wrong and what you could have fixed. You know, you can't point the finger when you're doing it yourself. Uh, so a lot of hypocrisy. Um, I would say, but yeah, know, so they should do something that they can't do themselves. So you saying that's the biggest lesson you learned that that women can't comprehend? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I learned um, a lot of the things I learned. I learned I learned a lot of the shit that I don't like. So it's like for mm. next time uh, when I see this, it's it's a really clip. Like as soon as I see this red flag, it's really over. With, you know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, I more so uh, learned like what what I don't like, what I won't tolerate, shit like that. So you gotta communicate that first. I did. I mean, I'm but the thing <laughs> is, <laughs> comprehension is important, and I, I see what I think. The most annoying part of what you're saying is that I understand it and I see it. Like, you know, sometimes it's like, like I could do it, but you can't. Like, it's <laughs> when I do it, and it's like. I don't know, like, I, I've had a couple of those conversations even with my friends where I just, like, to let them know, like, something you did bothered me, and it's just, like, um, like, well, I don't, I can't explain it, but I get what you're saying. It's, it's like, how do you get on me for something that you're doing? That makes no sense. So you see the wrongdoings in what I'm doing, but you don't see it in yourself. You're blind. Facts. But it's like sometimes you, I can't see it. Sometimes I can't see it in myself. So it's like it, you have to tell me if what I did bothered you or how I moved bothered you. I'm not expecting you to do it back at me. I'm expecting you to let me know that that bothered you, that you didn't like it. And then it's like if I keep doing it from there, all right, like I, I get it. I, I think but what he's talking about, I think he was, he's he's mentioning it. Like I don't like this, and then they keep doing it, and he keeps mentioning it, and they keep doing it. That's the issue, right? Okay. So if you communicate with That's them, not, you're just playing with me. Right? At that point, you must you must think I'm a fool. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Then I'm going to have to get out of character. So, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. No need to get out of character. You just keep it moving and nothing. Yeah. Fuck. So, Mercedes, what is the best way for a man to deal with a woman who can't control their emotions? Just be patient. It sounds it sounds nice. Yo, that's just any, anything but when more you than say that? emotions. When you say emotions, what do you mean? Do you mean like somebody that gets crazy? I mean so do you mean somebody that like cries when they're trying to communicate or talk? Like what I'm talking probably well, mentally I was thinking like probably like more like anger or like someone who's like pretty irrational who kind of uh, throws an unnecessary fit when not needed, mm -hmm. you know, things of that nature. I, I was thinking more of the angry side, uh, but I should work on my empathy and work on the, the crying stuff too. Um, well, I mean, I, I don't really get angry. Like I don't, I don't be throwing fits or whatever, but I think if anything, the guy should like, maybe give the woman some time to herself to really like let her calm down and really think about what happened because some women they get crazy and they don't realize that they're irrational at the time they just want to see blood and then afterwards they're just like damn i was i was overreacting you know so just okay. give them time all right but let's say it's a recurring event now and you start to see blood a lot. <laughs> you're starting to see blood a lot, and you 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 always come back down. But I don't want to always deal with that. How would how would a man then deal with that situation if it's reoccurring? And you give you give her the, you give her the time and space, but it keeps happening. What is a man to do? 
Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't know. She probably just needs therapy or something. She needs to work on something within her. She has some demons. Yeah. 2021 women are not trying to deal too much with men and their demons. You know, like men don't have to deal with it either, respectfully. Like if she has too many demons that she's working on and she's not working on them, then bounce. Yeah. Have patience. I'm not telling you to give up right away. Have patience. You can advise counseling, but you know, like, I don't know how lightly I would have taken that in my mm-hmm. time. You can't, like, you can't advise counseling in the moment. When she cools down, you can't be like, yo, you I don't know. I don't know if you no, could you ever. I mean, I guess, because a girl that, that her mind is there where she's like seeing red all the time or seeing blood or, or like, it's like she's not thinking anything's really wrong with her. She's thinking something's wrong with you, and you're just getting her upset. And it's like, I don't know. Like I can't picture a guy advising me at any point. Like you need counseling. It's like what? Like you need counseling. Like I mean, now it's different. Now it's something that I would think of. Like wait, like oh crap. Like yes, I do. Is that something you want to explore together? Like you know, I'll check myself now, but. Okay, so I, I also I would, think that therapy is more acceptable now. Yeah, I just want to yeah. say, like back in the day, nobody really spoke about it, but now people are just like, oh yeah, you know, I have my therapist, and like we're talking it out, and I'm, you know, so counseling was for crazy people. Yeah, it's like you go to counseling. I don't look crazy. I look crazy to you. So but now I, it's like it's normal. How would you suggest, Angie, that a man deals with a woman that can't control her emotions? That be patient um, and try to have conversations, advise, counseling, therapy, um, that you would go with her, you know, as support. If she's still acting out, then leave, King. Like, <laughs> you, in, like you have like every right to let that go like that's right. super toxic is so sad i hate like it, it's not that i hate but i think you're so used to seeing a girl heartbroken that i feel like females know how to use how to like manipulate i don't know manipulate. i just just say, it. just, just say it. set yourself free just say it <laughs> i didn't forgot what i was gonna say but I, it is like easier for a girl to deal with not their emotions okay. no but i'm saying like just seeing a girl get emotional over a guy because it's more common like when you see a it's guy, more acceptable crazy. yeah more socially acceptable it's for like, women to be emotional yeah it's like damn like that's like she got you like that but oh, wait a minute wait a minute now the drink is getting to me right drink some water what if the woman is always getting crazy because the man keeps on doing something like no, he's always no. out and about look, look at that lack of accountability. like what about that it's always gonna come it's back like, to the but man if that's the case, <laughs> but if that's the case is like then queen leave like why it, is this man getting out of getting you out of true. character this many times a day? but you, you you know what i find very interesting when a woman is put through the ringer all their friends tell them yo leave leave him leave when a man goes through that, oh, he got to tough it out, don't he? He got to be patient. That's a double standard if you ask me. That's a whole other podcast, I'm, I'm man. I'm saying the same thing. No, no, I, yeah, I know, I know. You and I are, yes. No. Okay. I mean, I, <laughs> Mercedes agreed, so I think we're all on the same page. Prince? Uh, I think we're pretty close to being on the same page. So how would you suggest how would you suggest a man deal with a woman who's uh hitting him profusely? Hitting him? Why is this happening? <laughs> what? Hitting him? Yeah, yeah, hitting him. Like her hitting him. Yeah, her hitting him. That's toxic. I don't know. That's toxic. I don't condone that. You're not God. Yeah. That's the reason why you should be putting hands on anybody. Okay. Like don't so, know. what was you just a man to do in that situation? Leave. Leave. All right, all right, okay, all right, we're good. All right, so, uh, Prince, how would you suggest a woman deal with a man who can't control his emotions? You imagine he should probably go to his room and reflect. <laughs> she, she hit him as for a reason. I'm not... I say he just leave. I say he just uh leave. Honestly, 
You you tell the woman yeah. to leave in that situation. Yeah, honestly. Okay. I feel like wow. there's, if there's if there's any type of nonsense, I mean, on on both ends, and it be, and it becomes a reoccurring thing, or rec- becomes a pattern, and you don't see a change, just just leave. Why why waste your time? Well, what are you waiting for? If a person want to change, they're gonna do it. If they don't want to do it, they won't do it. So leave. Yep. That's a fact. So Mercedes, who would you say is the better overall communicator, men or women? <sighs> women uh you don't believe that <laughs> you don't believe that i Come do on. i do You're biased. women because I'm, oh, I'm going i'm going by me and my friends we're no, always no. the one bringing up shit i said overall the majority yeah the overall. Majority. okay women women why is that i feel like men of course you feel they like to let a lot of shit slide or they just won't talk about it. They're, they they rather just take time to themselves. They pull away. They're playing little video games. They'll go out with the boys, but. <laughs> Yo, no, no. <laughs> not the little video games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo. Too- and like with women, it's just like, hey, can we talk? You know, we, we look at memes and we're just like, oh yeah, this is what I'm going through. And then we'll just try to like, talk about i don't know i i think women I, um go ahead at first i was gonna say women uh because they are quick to bring things up but just because you communicate that doesn't mean you're communicating effectively and i believe uh we have stats you know statistics to prove that you know what i'm saying um <laughs> Because if it if it was effective, uh, the divorce rate wouldn't be where it is now. If it was effective, um, <laughs> you, I mean, honestly, no, I'm listening. I'm listening. That us. I mean, there's there's that's the statistics to you know to prove these things. Like, um, and therefore, com- uh, women are the bad communicators because the statistics. Like, I I I liked where you were going with it, but then you kind of screwed my head up. I, with the- I mean, I kind of I. Honestly, I would say it's equal. I, I believe women are more likely to reach out and communicate, whether it's effective or not. They'll actually try and attempt. I do agree that men were way more passive when it comes to communicating. In relationships, so, I would say, yeah. So yeah, women. In, in relationships. Um, um, Angie, what you think? I'm sorry, Paul. Um, so I'm... Um, which are better in a relationship or period? You know, I, I said overall. I said overall. So overall. Mm. Um, like I strongly wanted to say women too. I can't really fix my mouth to say men. But um I just want to say that I've never had a man communicate any big issues to me it was always me okay maybe there's something wrong with my past relationships but i just i'm okay. going by experience yeah i don't know i i think it has to be it definitely would have i have to say 50 50 because it's like you know going to like piggybacking what uh, when prince was mentioning like you know, they, it is easy for a woman to sit there and mention, you know, what she found, like what it was bothering her. But because it took so long for her to even really put those words together, because she just kind of figured out her emotions, like the guy's response can trigger something like I don't I don't know. It, it's a. Uh, I, I think that uh, men and women are very <laughs> different and we're, we're communicating to to each other the way that we'd want to be communicated with rather than. You know, a lot of women probably don't know how men want to receive that message. And a lot of men probably don't know how women want to receive that message. So I think we're communicating with each other, like, almost as if, like, this is how I would want to be communicated with, rather than take into account how your partner or women in general would like to be communicated with, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's all I got. So, uh, 
that's the first one. Thanks for ending up.